Hello, this is Hussam Hurani, and today we will talk about how to visualize the misclassification. We will take uh, two examples, uh, one uh, very straightforward example on data set like Iris. Let's take Iris data set. And um, the second example will take image misclassification. So from Iris, as you know that we have this data set. Uh, uh, no, I need to choose Iris data set. So I'm going to pick up Iris data set. So this is the right data set. So this one is the target. OK. And from here, I'm going to connect to a test okay, and score. And uh, I'm going to use the logistic regression. Logistic regression, for example. I always use this one just uh, as a straightforward. It gives very good accuracy. And now uh, I'm going to connect this to confusion, confusion matrix. So from confusion matrix, so we have three misclassified uh, iris versus color. Uh, it's predicted as uh, virginica. And we have two misclassified items, which are virginica. It's predicted uh, it as ver uh, iris versus color. How to, can we visualize this? We can visualize this if we just connect this to uh, scatter, scatter. And if we click on the uh, these two items, and if you open it, you will see these items. But we, what we need to do actually is to uh, um, uh, view the misclassified based on the uh, whole space for the, the, data set, the, the data set. So I'm going to connect the file into scatter. OK, I'm going to connect file uh, data to, da to data, data to data, OK? So this is data, and uh, this one we're gonna connect the selected items to data subset. Okay, so this is selected data to data subset. So if we open both now, I'm gonna open this one, the confusion matrix, and I also I'm gonna open this one here. We will see very interesting, very interesting uh, views for us. So if you click two, you will see these are the two. Uh, that are misclassified and you know why it's uh, misclassified because it's in the border borders between the uh, versicolor and the uh, virginica as you can see from here if you click the three here you will see that these are the misclassified because also they are in the borders or at borders between the uh, versicolor and virginica so you can see these mis mis misclassified items based on the whole space that you have. Of course, you can click on these uh, also the right uh, classified uh, items. Okay, these are the right classified items, and these are the misclassified items based on okay, based on the um, uh, logistic regression. Okay, so this is the first example. The second example we will take import images. Uh, we will use images, import images. Okay, and we will use the animals. Uh, that we used previously. So we have 3000 images and three categories. Okay, I'm gonna connect this one to um, uh, to uh, image embedding, of course. And uh, in image embedding, I'm gonna use local uh, squeeze net. This is the embedder, but also you can use, if you have high speed internet uh, connection, you can use any of these other, uh, you know, uh, algorithms for embedders, but we will use this one. Okay, for now, uh, so um, it will take maybe a minute or, or so, but we will also connect this to test and score. And from test and score, we're going to use logistic regression also to do the classification, logistic regression. Okay, and from this one, we will use confusion matrix. And from confusion matrix, we will connect to image view, image viewer. Okay. So um, let let us just wait uh, a bit uh, till the um, the test and the score finalize the logistic regression all in uh, all this data. So it's down not nineteen percent. So if we open the uh, confusion, it's empty now. We need to wait till we finalize uh, this. Uh, you, the processing for the test and the score.
as you can see yani it's the orange jet mining is very uh, straightforward application very simple very flexible uh, you can use it uh, to really um, uh, dig down into your data uh, analyze your data based on different models you can do classification regression you can do uh, also clustering and dimension reductions there are many also lessons uh, that will um, that I will do uh, after this lesson which will talk about many things like data mining other algorithms uh, data manipulations uh, Python also we will use we will I will explain to you how to use Python in uh, this application so it's almost done it's done so this is the uh, misclassified uh, images I will open this one also I will open this one so let's let's uh, open both so this is the misclassified images uh, they're supposed to be cats but uh, to predict them as dogs 46 ones so these are it's almost like a dog by the way this one but you can see sometime uh, you can find reasons why it misclassified uh, the uh, data these are the misclassified auto 45 one uh, dogs uh, to predict them as cats as cats these are the 13 ones uh, also this is misclassified seven items as as bandas uh, as cats uh, there should be a panda but it predicts them as cats okay also these uh, predicted the pandas as dogs as dogs as you can see this is how you uh, view the misclassified uh, items in the text data or data set uh, uh, without images and with images so this is the lesson it's a straightforward I, and uh, uh, as you can see it you can in minutes you can do whatever you want in uh, orange data mining things related to AI and uh, uh, data science data analysis software engineering there are so many things you can do and we'll see you in uh, our next lesson bye